Let's look at the solutions of arithmetic point crusades for 16th April. A train traveled at two thirds of its usual speed and hence reached its destination 24 minutes after the scheduled time. So if ratio of speed is 3x and 2x, ratio of time will be 2y and 3y. And this I note to be 24 minutes extra, which is a different way of saying the time taken here is 48 minutes. The time taken here is 72 minutes. Okay. On its return journey, the train initially traveled at its usual speed for 12 minutes. So total distance, hopefully you can see speed of 3x for 48 minutes. Total distance, I can say 144x. For 12 minutes, 3x uh, has, for 12 minutes, we have traveled at the speed of 3x. So 36x distance has been taken care of. Then stop for eight minutes on an emergency. So eight minutes gone, zero. How much time is left? Out of 48 minutes, 20 minutes are gone. So 28 minutes is left. It has to travel with some speed to cover the remaining 108x. So the speed here will be 108x by 28. I can cancel it by four. So I get 27 and seven or altogether three whole six by seven X. This is the new speed, the percentage by which the train must now increase its usual speed. So as to reach the destination at scheduled time is the increase is six by seven, six by seven is the increase on a base of three in 200. This is what we are seeking. Cancel, cancel. I get two, two by seven in percentage terms is 28.57. So option D. Next question, if decreasing 160 by X percent gives the same result as increasing 96 by X percent, then X minus 15% of 180 is what percent less than X plus 15% of 80. Basically, I have to focus on the value of X. I am decreasing 160 by X percent. So it will be 160 into 100 minus X by 100 is equal to how much? Uh, 96 hundred plus X by hundred. If you can understand this is a GP being formed. If you can understand this is a GP being formed, life would be so much simpler, but okay. Even if you went down this path, hundred and hundred canceled three and five canceled. Basically I now have hundred minus X by hundred minus uh, plus X is equal to three by five. Now, can you see between three by five? I can write it as four minus one by four plus one. So hundred represents four units. So X should represent 25 units. The value of the variable here is 25. So we're looking at 10% of 180, which is 18 and 40% of 80, which is 32. We're supposed to find out how much lesser is 18 compared to 32. So the answer will be 14 by 32 into 100. So this is seven, this is 16, this is four, this is 25. So I'm now looking at 175 by four. If nothing else, hopefully you can see the remainder here is three. So answer should have something 0.75. Only option C fits. Next one. A milkman mixes X liters of water to pure milk to make a 64 liter diluted milk solution. He sells this solution at a price, which is 16.66% more than the cost price of the pure milk and makes a net profit of 33.33% in the transaction. Now see what you have to pay attention to is let's say cost price of milk. If it was X, sorry, not X, 16.66, no, 6X. So selling price, this is milk. So selling price of mixture is 7X. Also, if cost price of mixture is 3y, selling price of mixture is 4y, only then will you have a profit of uh, how much? 28, uh, sorry, 33.33%. So I'm combining all this to say, if the selling price of the mixture is 28, the cost price of the milk would have been 24 and the cost price of the mixture would have been 21. So basically, when you're mixing something worth 24 with something worth zero, you're reaching a price of 21, average price of 21. This gap is three, this gap is 21, or the ratio here is one unit and seven units. The combined form is eight units. This eight units has been told to me as 64 liters. 
so this one unit here should be 8 liters and this one unit here or this seven units here should be 56 liters if he adds x liters of water 8 liters of water to 120 liters of pure milk and sells the resulting diluted milk solution at the cost price of pure milk then what will be the milkman's profit percentage in the transaction can you see he will get profit for 8 liters for a cost of 120 liters of milk this is what he's getting or his profit is going to be 1 by 15 which is equal to 6.66 percent so option d next the price of an article is increased by 40 percent in the first month and then decreased by 40 percent in the second month and then again increased by 40 percent in the third month by what percentage should the price be decreased to get it back to the initial price okay so i'm saying let the original price be 100 then it is increased by 40%. So it becomes 7 by 5. Decreased by 40%. So 3 by 5. Then increased by 40%. So 7 by 5. Into some multiplicative impact. Gets it back to 100. These two are gone. X will be equal to 125 by 147. So the reduction that is happening is. 22 by 147. I need to find out percentage value of this. Because the options are in percentage. So 2200 by 147, 1147, 63, sorry, not 730, 730. Uh, will it go five times? No, it will not go five times. It will be 14 point something among the available options. It is D. We mark, we move. Next, the provisions for a garrison of 250 men are sufficient to last for exactly 150 days. If after the first 60 days, the reinforce, a reinforcement of 50 men joins the garrison and every person decreases his daily consumption by 40% for how many days more or less than the scheduled time will the provisions last? Okay. So I'm going this way. Days, how much, how many days of provision was left? 90. Originally it was 150, but 60 days have been passed. So 90. How many men? 250. Previously their consumption was 10. And now what we have been told is 50 men have joined. So there are 300 men now and their consumption has fallen by 40%. So their new consumption is six. Now I can figure out the total number of days for which the food will last. Original number 90 men have increased. So the provision should last for fewer days. So five by six, I'm directly writing instead of 250 by 300. And if the consumption has fallen, the provision should last for longer number of days. So five by three, I'm writing. So cancel, cancel cancel i get 5 into 5 into 5 the provision should last for 125 days now previously it was 90 now it is 125 so the provisions will last for 35 days more next question the marks scored by 10 students in a particular subject are as follows 70 something something up until 89 when arranged in ascending order the average of m2 to m7 is 70 and the average of m4 to m9 is 86 find the difference between the three lowest scores and the three highest scores so we need, look at this, uh, here I have got average of six numbers, average of six numbers as 79. And here I've got average of six numbers as 86. Can I say the difference in their sum? Difference in their sum is 42. And in terms of which values are to be taken, can you see M2 and M3 have been re removed and M9 and M8 have been introduced. So this 42 is representative of M9, plus M8 minus M3 minus M2. This is very close to what we needed. Difference between the three lowest scores and three highest scores. The lowest score is of course 70. The highest score is of course 89. So all we need to do is add an 89 minus 70 or a 19 extra to this. And we should have our answer. It should be 61. So option C. Next one. A mixture has water and acid in the ratio 5 is to 34. 36 liters of acid is mixed to the, added to this mixture and then 36 liters is removed. This process is repeated two more times. If the new ratio of water and acid in the mixture is 3 is to 22, find the volume of the original solution in liters. Okay, pay attention. Here, um, acid is being added in quantity terms and then being reduced in percentage terms because uh, percentage terms are ratio terms because 36 liters is taken out of the mixture. So acid is not something we should focus on. We should only focus on water. Previously, you have water as 5 by 9. You have 5 by 9. And then what is happening is 
every time you take out 36 liters from the container, its proportion in the solution would go down. Quantity of uh, that will go down. By how much will it go down? Let's say the original volume was V. You have added 36 liters initially, and then you have taken out 36 liters. So can I say from a total of V plus 36 proportion is coming down to V as in this is what is left. The remaining part of the solution from the original solution. And this exercise is not happening once. This exercise is happening three times because the process is repeated two more times. So V plus 36 into V plus 36. And this leads to our net uh, priority of water in the solution going down to 3 by 25. This is what it has become. So now can I say V by V plus 36 whole cube is equal to 27 by 125 or V by V plus 36 is equal to 3 by 5. As soon as you reach this, can I write it as this V is 3 units. So this V is 3 units. This 36 is 2 units. If 2 units is 36, 3 units should be 54. You can also do the maths and get the answer there. But visually, you should be able to reach V is 54. Next question. In a class of 61 students, the difference between the highest mark and the least mark is 66. If the average score is calculated without considering the student who got the highest marks, the average score decreases by 1%. So now pay attention. Let's say the average was this. Let's say the average was something average. If we remove the highest person, if we remove the highest person, we are creating a deficit of 1% for each of the remaining 60 kids. We are creating a deficit of 1% for each of the remaining kids. So can I say the score of the highest kid, the score of the highest kid was 60% more than the average. 60% more than the average or the highest kid had scored 1.6 times of the average. 1.6 times of the average. This is what the highest kid has scored. If the average score is calculated without considering the student who got the least mark, then the average score increases by 1.2%. So 1.2% because 1.2% Surplus is now available for 60 kids, 60 into 1.2%, 60 into 1.2% would be 72%. Can I say the lowest kid was 72% lower than average, or he was 0 0.28 times of average. And we know the difference between these two is 66. Right now, clearly we can see 1.32 times of average has been told to us as 66. So average will be equal to 50 answer is option D. Basically, this is a, this is a question that focuses only on deviations. If you understand deviations, life is simple. Next, two swimmers, Popov and Phelps, simultaneously start swimming from points A and B respectively towards D and A respectively with constant speeds. On reaching the respective ends, they immediately turn back and swim towards their starting points. If the first meeting point is 140 meters from A, okay. 140 meters from A, where will the second meeting point take place? So I'm saying, say, 140 meters from here and 100 meters from here. By the time they meet for the first time, they have cumulatively covered the track once. But when they meet for the second time, can you see? They would have covered the track three times. Together, they would have covered the track. This guy would have covered it one point something times. This guy would have covered it one point something times. So cumulatively, they have covered the track three times. So if till the first meeting, this guy travels 140. Till the third meeting, he would have traveled 420. Out of 420, I know this entire distance was 240. So this is 100. And this is uh, 140, 240, 420. Uh, 240 is gone. So 180. This here from B, it is 180. Or from A, it will be 60. If you want to consider the person who starts off at A, if you want to consider the person who starts off at B, till the first meeting he has traveled 100. So till the second meeting he will travel 300. So if this is 100 and this is 140, he's supposed to travel 60 more. So from A, 
the distance is 60 more. So answer has to be C. There is no maths in this. This is just visual representation. Last question. Ram and Sham started from point A at 8 a.m. and drove on their cars with a uniform speed towards B. Sum of speeds of Ram and Sham is 100 km per hour. At the same time, Mohan also started from B and drove towards A with a uniform speed of 40 km per hour. Mohan and Sham met at 1 p.m. and this meeting was one hour later than the meeting between Ram and Mohan. After meeting of Ram and uh, Mohan and Sham, both Ram and Sham interchanged their speeds. At what time will Sham overtake Ram? Let us do it mathematically first and then because this question is so much fun, it is awesome to cover. Can you see, let's say Ram and Sham, his speed was X, his speed was Y, Mohan's speed is 40. So Ram and Mohan meet, uh, sorry, Mohan and Sham meet at 1 p.m. And this meeting was one hour later than the meeting between Ram and Mohan. So Ram and Mohan meet after four hours. So can I say 40 plus X into four is equal to the entire distance. Similarly for Sham, it will be five into 40 plus Y. Both these are unique, absolutely distances only. Additionally, additionally, yeah. hopefully you remember the sum of speeds of Ram and Sham was 100. So X plus Y is also 100. I can happily replace one of these expressions with 100 minus X to so get to their individual speeds. So here I have 160 plus 4X is equal to 140. So 700 minus 5x or 9x is equal to 540 x is equal to 60 so his speed is 60 his speed is 40 once we have identified this up until 5 up until 1 pm up until 1 pm if their gap if the uh, difference between their speeds per hour is 20 up until 1 pm they would have created a gap of 100 kilometers and in now, when they are interchanging speeds, in order to cover this gap of 100 km again, they would need an additional 5 hours. So 5 hours after 1 pm, answer should be C. This is the mathematical way of doing it and most likely people who would have solved it would have done it this way. Now the smart way or the, if you understand the storyline of this, Mohan actually has no role to play in this, uh, in this entire Kahani. Mohan has no role to play. Can you see Ram and Sham, whatever they are. If his speed was X and his speed was Y, they started at 8 a.m. And from 1, 1 p.m. they have interchanged their speeds. If 1 p.m. they have interchanged their speeds. So in that time, the gap created between them is X minus Y into 5. The gap created between them is X minus Y into 5. For 5 hours, they have operated with those speeds, which has created a gap. So in or, now if they are interchanging speeds and you want to cover the same gap, it should take five more hours. It should take five more hours. So you can directly go from 1 p.m. five more hours. Answer has to be C. You don't even need to know the speed of Ram and Sham in order to arrive at the right answer here. You can directly reach it if you can understand the logic. Just because speeds have been interchanged, the gap that was created will again be covered in the same time in which the gap was created. That will be all for quant quizzes this time. Hopefully you learned something. Okay. Okay, bye people.